Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome here to Guilford High School for the girls' finals of the Lakes Region Holiday Basketball Tournament. My name's Devin Poslesny here on the microphone, and I got Jesse Miller sitting to my right on the camera as we are going to, well, I'm going to pull down my microphone, and uh, we'll have starting lineups here for this finals event in this tournament. Great weekend of basketball so far, and uh, yeah. Welcome. Here we go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We would like to welcome you to tonight's basketball game between the New Found Band and the Laconia St. Church. Please take notice of the exit. In the unlikely event of a fire alarm activation or other emergency, please make your All right, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A little technical difficulties on the gym microphone, so she was able to project her voice, and we were all able to hear her. But anyways, it's time here for this final. Laconia in red, Newfound in white, as Newfound is the home team. I have both lineups here. I'm going to do my best on the names. But uh, anyways... Also, for those of you watching on Facebook, welcome. I apologize in advance if the stream goes in and out. We, um, we're we going off of my phone data here, and I think we'll be good, but <laughs> it, there's a possibility. Clock on the screen is controlled by myself, so if it's a little off, minute, second, I mean second here or there, please bear with us. Anyways, here we go. Finals for the girls here in the Lakes Region Holiday Hoops Tournament is underway. Laconia able to take the ball away there after Newfound had a opening charge and the ball will go out of bounds. Laconia will have it on the far side. The 
The Sachems looking to get it up on the window first here is Newfound, or second actually, but Newfound had unfortunate luck, wasn't able to get it to drop in there. And they put it up on the window. And the Bears are gonna try and get it out of their end. But Laconia will take it right back. 4-3, bounces out. Out of bounds and it will be Laconia's ball. First game of the season that I'm broadcasting for volleyball, or basketball, and they'll get it in there for two. The file name on my streamer here says volleyball, so that's why I said volleyball, my bad. Anyways, first game of the season for basketball for us, so give me a quick second to reacquaint myself with how this game works. Had a broadcaster. 4 3. Couldn't get it to sit. And Newfound will get it and turn the ball around. Sachems will have it near side, right here in the corner, and we'll pass it in. Four three, and it was behind the glass. Tony, a player going to the line here. It's Isabella Daly. Second one didn't go, and Newfound will get the rebound. Looking down low, had to send it back out. Definitely seems like this is gonna be a defensive game, and it looks like Laconia will take it back away. Looped it under, Laconia still has it. And Newfound will take it back. Passes up and the Sachems will take it. Down low looking to get it up. Can't and the Bears will now have it. This is potentially the longest stretch of game so far. And of course I had to say something. Our clock's behind so give it a second to catch up. behind by about 10 seconds. Looking for three, and gets it to go. Pass it up. Oh. Newfound yet to get a point on the board. And just as soon as I say that, 
They get their first points of the game. About halfway through the first quarter here. Fan will take the ball away. And we'll have a newfound player going the line, trying to catch up to the clock here. There we go. And that's number 11. Tiffany Doan on the line here. Once again, I apologize if I'm getting any of these names wrong. <laughs> Came up short in the first shot. Second one is good. And the Bears are only down by three now. Stolen, and it will be given to the Sanctums here. We found being aggressive here, trying to get that ball back. Out by the three point, looking for three, far. McConey able to rebound it. Puts it up and good for two. And a timeout is called, 30 seconds. Definitely seems like early in this game, Laconia controlling the narrative as it's, I mean, the scoreboard favors that theory as well. Back underway here, first quarter. Laconia trying to put it up, gets his own, her own rebound and does, gets it to go for two. And now Newfound bringing it up, far side, crosses. Nice easy layup and puts two more up. Newfound steals that ball away, making a run. And Laconia will take it back. And we'll have Daly going back on the line for two more. Second foul on Fairbank for the Bears.
Newfound struggling to get it out of their own end of the court as Laconio brings that ball back. Four three, short, and Newfound will pick, take it back. Quick break here. Got somebody going to the line. And that is number twenty-four. <laughs> Madison Duvel for the Bears. Laconia holding strong here. Two minutes left here in the quarter. 4-3. Off the rim, but no good. Newfound's got it. Ball's out. Newfound will take it away here. Got two defenders. Now three. Laconia steals it back. for the St. Chums. I mean Gaspa on the line. A little violation there and Gaspa now takes another shot. Roll out. <laughs> Loop out, whatever. And now Newfound has it coming down. Laconia swats it out, and the ball goes out of bounds. Then a minute of play here. Yeah. 
32 seconds, Newfound trying to keep it in their control and Laconia will turn it back around. And the whistle blows again. window no good ten seconds five four three last second shot no good and that's how we will end the quarter here Twelve to seven, Laconia leading. Here from Guilford in the holiday basketball tournament. And away we go here for the second quarter. Newfound will have the ball first. And nine seconds in, we already got one going to the line. And we'll have a timeout here by the Bears. After the timeout, Tiffany Dolan will go to the line. <laughs> so how's everyone doing? Those of you watching on Facebook, let us know. Hope you all are having a great Sunday. I know the New England Patriots, I believe, are playing right now. Anyways. First shot for Dolan, and it is no good. Just... Your shot number two, and it will go in. Now it's only a four point gap. Laconia had to run it back there. Now they still have it. Up in the traffic, no harm, no foul. Um, maybe there's a foul now. <laughs> and there is. So for Laconia, number 22. Drains her first shot. And 
number 22, silly. Uh, I'm not even gonna. You'll, if you watch this back, you'll laugh at this. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce your last name. Nikolovich? So I'm gonna go with. Trying to figure out the name, the clock is running, and our stream one isn't. That was a attempted three, and it was no good. Laconia gets pushed out in the corner. Number 32 took a shot back off the window, and it's good for two. A newfound near side runs it up court. Puts the brakes on when they, she gets to the three-point line and everyone resets. We found looking for a way in. Ooh, gets the ball stripped and Laconia will take it back. And it'll be out of bounds in favor of Newfound. Ooh, off the rim, Newfound still has it. Looking to put it up, bounces over, and Laconia will get the rebound. Underneath, and it's in there for two. And Newfound returns the fit, or returns with two points of their own. Newfound seems to be being a little, seems to be a little bit more aggressive as you know, my point exactly. Oh, and Laconia returns the favor. And Newfound sends the Laconia player to the, the boards. Both coaches saying, you know, slow it down here, slow it down. Subs coming in here for Laconia and Newfound as Laconia will have the ball, have possession of the ball, I should say. And we got one at the line here for Laconia. Sierra Halligan. Excuse me, sorry about that. <laughs> Seko what is short. Newfound passes that ball up. Near side. Yeah, 
And Melissa blows and one. We'll have Darling go back to the line. Penalty or the foul was on number 33 from Laconia. It's her second one of the game. And Laconia answers back. Ball is short. Rebound, no good. We found, trying to get it out of their own zone. And it will stay with the Bears. Looking for three, long. The Newfound has it back. Oh, couldn't get it to go. Laconia takes the ball back and slows the pace down. Newfound looking up the middle, sends it out side, back to the top of the three. Apologize, our scoreboard was a little more behind. Tony has got it. And the whistle's gonna blow. We found passes the ball back there, and the whistle blows right away. Looks like we got a 30 second timeout here from Newfound. And this will give me an opportunity to do this, you know, obligations as a broadcaster. Our next event, Saturday, January 4th at 4 p.m. Live streaming coverage of the Laconia Winnesquam Interleagues High School game versus Fall Mountain. Boys versus the ice hockey here from New Hampshire. Check it out, streaming out four. Two fifty nine left here in the second quarter and the first half. And away we go here. This is going to quickly blow there. And we got a newfound player going to the line. Number two for Laconia. That's her first of the game. And I can't see what number that is. That was number 10 for Newfound. Woman. That was number 10 for Newfound. He took the two shots there. I'm thinking next half we're not going to have the clock. Seems to be struggling. That gives me something else to talk about. Laconia trying to do something here. It sends it in, just now back out. And the 
number two will bring it out and kind of reset the pace. Passes off to 33. up a little bit. There we go. Laconia puts it up, bounces back out, and Newfound will have it. Far side, Newfound bringing it up. Passes out. Back out by the three. Able to recover. Puts it up, short. Laconia will rebound. And light number 12. There are sisters on this team. This tells this shows how much I've looked how much I looked over the roster. And we finally turns the favor. Laconia trying to get the ball to go, but Newfound snags the ball away. Down by six here. Hoping to... Well, I was gonna say, I'm hoping to cut the lead down a little bit, but unfortunately, the ball gets turned over to Laconia. Unfortunately for Newfound, I should say. Quick return off the window and good for two. Newfound with the run and gets it to go. 10 seconds remaining. Our clock's about five seconds behind. What else is new though? Five, four, three, two, one. And that's the end of the quarter and the half. 22-16, the score here. And ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a quick commercial break on the other side of the break. I don't know, for those of you watching the YouTube tape delay version, the second half starts. For those of you watching the Facebook Live version, I apologize, I guess you guys are gonna have to hang on for about eight minutes. <laughs> Anyways. We'll be right back. All right, back here at Guilford for the third quarter worth of action. As you can see, we took the clock off. You know, I just, I realized it was 
It's going to be more of a pain in the butt than it was worth, unfortunately. But I'll keep you updated with time. And Laconia gets it to go for two there. Newfound yet to lead in this game. However, they, of course, would like to turn that stat around and make me eat my words. But down by eight right now, so got a little work to do before they can do that. Newfound going to pass the ball in. And now struggles to get it over the line of Laconia, but will do. We'll get it to go. And somebody is shooting too. Number 14. Helena Huckins. Going to take a shot, and the penalty was on number 21, Gaspa, her third of the game. Got one to go, the other one did not fall. Laconia now brings it down. All short. Nephine able to pick it back up. Laconia sends the ball out. Six minutes remaining here in the third quarter. And Newfound will come away with it. Oh, oh, hey now, hey now. Off the window, no good. And Laconia trying to come away with it, but Newfound grabs it back. Just a quick disclaimer, we're sitting amongst the visiting team fans. So the Konya fans are around us. I'm, I'm not saying they're bad or anything, but any audio that is not myself or not mine could be theirs. And we do not control that, of course, so we apologize. 30 second timeout here for the Laconia coach. But yeah. Great vantage point here from the bleachers here at the Guilford Gymnasium. Coming up after this, you can see the team in the corner, the bottom left corner. They're walking down the bleachers right now. Up next to the boys' final. It will be the Belmont boys' varsity team playing against the Guilford boys' varsity team for the finals here in the tournament. It'll be one to watch. We're going to try and do Facebook Live again. 
If not, like I said, even if you're watching on live right now and you are thinking to yourself, I like this, but I don't like it. I want to rewatch this game. The game will be on our YouTube channel, hopefully tonight, if not by tomorrow afternoon. <coughs> much better quality as well, so something to look forward to. Try to get it to go, and Newfound will get the rebound. According to the scoreboard, that's her second of the game. And we got somebody going to the line to shoot two. And it's Huckins again who had the foul. And Holligan at the line here for the St. James. Post game, we got awards. We'll have the audio, we'll have the coverage here for you. Post game awards. And then, of course, we'll get ready to rock and roll for the boys final right after this. Another four minutes here in the third quarter as Laconia's. Levy, Levy, <laughs> number 33, to the line here, and the pe penalty again is on number 14. <laughs> we'll have a sub here for Newfound. And it is number 14 coming off. Number 12 comes on. Tipped off. New Fads may able to hold on to it. Open lane to the basket. Good for two. Laconia tried to make the turnaround. From what I could see, Newfound seems to be doing their best work when they're able to get down the court as quick as possible. Laconia, as soon as they could put a defensive pressure on Newfound, Newfound can't seem to keep the ball out of Laconia's hands. The quicker Newfound can get the ball away from Laconia, the quicker they can score. Thirty-four twenty-one here with 
319 remaining in the third quarter. Newfound's got something going here. Has help, but Laconia will steal the ball right back away. And it's good for two. Looking for three, it's a little off. Actually, she was inside the three. Newfound making a comeback here. Only down by nine. That's wrong, only down by 11. I was never strong at math in school. Newfound looking to do something, passed out, and the pass was incomplete. Cornia moving the ball around here. Oh! Thought for a quick second that was a trip. But I remembered we may not have trips in basketball. That's only in hockey I'm thinking of. Newfound definitely being more aggressive here. Laconia is going to turn it. It bounces out. Newfound bringing it down here. Under the yeah, out of bounds, and it's going in favor of Laconia. Thought it was staying down there, but. No such luck. Put the ball up and got somebody shooting too here. Bunnell was the person who fouled number 23, if you remember correctly. Number 23, Salia. With the last name that I cannot pronounce. Mikovic. 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 I apologize if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. To see my last name, it's not anything any better. It's not any better. Off the window, no good. And Laconia will pull up the rebound. Forty-five seconds remaining here in the quarter.
Number 12 fouled, number 12. Don't get that a lot, basketball. Unfortunately, Laconia is not able to come away with any points from that. seconds remaining 15 now off the glass can't get it to go back in there good for two five seconds now newfound gonna turn inside and we got someone going on the line to shoot two now and the second one's no good but that's how we end the third quarter quarter four coming right up next but here let's do a little commercial here high school hockey action we're back at it. We took we, well about two weeks off for the holidays. But Laconia Winnesquam Interlegs versus Monadnock Fall Mountain Varsity Boys Hockey, January 4th at 4 p.m. Live streaming on our YouTube channel. So that'll be something to look for. If you're just tuning in, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the broadcast here on Facebook or the tape delayed version on YouTube. We're entering the fourth quarter, 38 to 24 here. Eight minutes remaining from crowning a champion. Does Newfound make a comeback? Or does Laconia go on to get the, the W here for the, the tournament champion? Eight minutes to find out. Here we go.
Sorry about my absence. Stepped away real quick. Stepped away from the announcing duties. Six minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. Forty-two twenty-four here. Laconia continues to lead. Newfound, however, is putting up one heck of a battle. Goes to put it back in there. Newfound continuing to fight here. That ball's going out of bounds. or Newfound continuing to try and put it up but just cannot get it to go as here comes Laconia Looking for three, short. And a new foul will pick it up. New foul passing it around under, gets it to go for two. Four and a half to play. We found only down by 12. As Laconia goes to the line to shoot two. That's Gaspa at the line. Foul on number 12 from the Bears. It's her third of the game. Well, Laconia will get one in there. Taking the lead from 12 to 13. One twenty eight, the score here. New foul looking. Moving it around. Gets it just at the top of the key. Passes back out. Off. Saved by Newfound, and they continue to keep it alive here. Short. And it's going out of bounds. And it's staying down here.
New found. Off the window, no good. Out of bounds. And it's staying on this end. In there for two. Only down by 11 now. And Newfound turns back around. Quick back under. Quick back under. It's oh, a new one. Now Laconia's got it. Newfound passes up. In there for two. Newfound making a comeback here late. Gap continues to be nine with 2.18 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Like I said, post game awards. Timeout here for a full timeout. But post game awards coming right up after the final buzzer. We'll, uh, we'll have coverage of those. Hopefully, the microphone will work for those awards. We, uh, we shall find out. <laughs> Newfound looking to hold Laconia and continue to bridge a gap. Down by nine here as we have 218 remaining in the quarter. And here we go. Laconia moves it over. Coney is going to go to the line. St. Jim's able to Drain two there, and it will pull the lead up to 11. But Newfound with the quick turnaround, it brings the lead back to nine. Two minutes remaining here. And the Sachem's trying to keep it going, and there's a blow, blown whistle. And 
end, we got DeLuca going to the line. Ashland. Like I said, Newfound looking to take that lead of nine and knock it down. Off the window, no good. Newfound has it. Ninety seconds remaining in the game, and that's out of bounds. Newfound passes it off top of the key or top of the three point line. One minute 20 remaining. And there's a whistle blown. Red 21. That will be her fourth of the game. A new fan will pass it in. Almost lost it there. Only hurting themselves by not putting the ball on hoop. Laconio playing a nice zone defense here with one minute and five seconds to go. Over, no good, out of bounds. In favor of Laconia. Literally one minute. Exact, now within one minute by a couple seconds remaining. And Laconia looking to just strengthen the lead and seal the deal on a tournament championship. Oh, ho, ho. oh boy. And we got one going to the line here. That is Daly. Figure out who who fouled her. Scoreboard says number twenty one, but I don't see a number twenty one on the court. So I'm assuming number twelve, who just came off is the one who fouled her because the scoreboard says five meaning I'm pretty sure she fouled out. Laconia adds one. That's ten. And there's another. Full timeout from Laconia. Here, I'll take a quick timeout and get a drink of water. Be right back. Thirty-five seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter and the game here in the Lakes Region Holiday Basketball Tournament Finals for the girls. Newfound looking to lessen the blow, I guess you could say, as New Laconia leading by 11. I 
can bet any amount of money that the Sachems owe. All right, number 11 for a newfound. Fouled. Daily. What I was going to say is I can bet any amount of money that the Sachems are just going to kill the clock. That is still a possibility as soon as this game restarts. The last thing Newfound wants to do right now is foul. I mean... <laughs> Anyways, what do I know? Gets it to go for one. Brings the lead to 12 and with 10 seconds remaining. Newfound. Most likely just going to dribble this one out. Maybe put a shot on. Three, two, one. And that's it. That's the game, and Laconia is going to come away here victorious. Forty-six, thirty-four final here as post-game awards coming right up after this. There's Larry Johnson. He's getting ready to talk, do some post-game awards. Our Facebook live stream will stay on, but for the second boys game, there'll be a separate video, same channel, same page. DP Production Group, check it out. But the stream will end and we'll, we'll start it up again. So stand by, post game awards. Start now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Post-game awards in the books. Uh, we are going to end the Facebook Live. Thank you for tuning in. And YouTube, for those of you watching on YouTube and or post-game, thank you so much for tuning in. Up next, boys game. Check it out on a separate link on YouTube or Facebook for Facebook Live. So.
don't go any or I mean second game anyways congratulations to Laconia on the tournament champions boys game next 